My name is Juliet Neighbors. I'm so excited to be part of this exhibit. I was born and raised in Nairobi, Kenya. I met my husband in Nairobi in 2008, but my original name is um, Juliet Akinyi Onyango, and my tribe is Luo. In Kenya, we have over 42 tribes, and so my tribe is the, um, the third largest. I moved to the United States um, 2013, and that makes, I was 27. I was so excited when Liza Blair um, called me on board to come and be part of this and um, be the face of Kenya for this exhibit. I was so excited since I've not been home in about six years now. And so when I saw all of these beautiful exhibits, I mean, I could not believe the school reminds me of the classes that I was in when I was um, in, kinder, in uh, ele elementary school. The National Park Reservoir, that also reminds me the Matatu. I mean, it's every single part of it just took me home. It would, it, I mean, I had tears of joy when I saw all these things and I was so excited to see them, so yeah. A typical day would be every day of the week we went to school. <laughs> we came home just like majority of the uh, students did our homework, you know, took showers and all that. On the weekends we played a lot. One thing I miss is playing a lot with my friends. And I, um, moving here, I found it's, diff it's different, not difficult, different from um, how I was raised back home because back home it was, you go out and play with your friends until it's nighttime. And here I find it to be different as a parent myself. I have to watch my kids, I have to go to the park with them, I have to keep an eye on them, so it's like extra work. Um, but, um, which I love because it comes with great rewards as well, just to be with my children. But back home, it was typical for us to play, um, have relatives, grew up in a big family um, and so I do miss my family a lot being here with my husband um, yeah schools are different because um, in Kenya we in school longer so I remember when I was in school we would be there I had to wake up at 5 in the morning I had to be in school uh, by 6 30 or 7 um, then if you're late there was always <laughs> you get disciplined for being late and that so that was really in grinded in us to wake up earlier here school starts a little bit late different schedule some kids leave school at two or one or three o'clock but back home you're in school from 6 30 or 7 until five o'clock so it's a long time being in school oh my god i love stuck in the mud <laughs> and um i love playing hide and seek i like i love playing um, jumping rope. Um, soccer was my favorite, I played volleyball. Um, yeah, so those were my, my favorite. The most rewarding part has been me connecting with other Kenyans. Oh my gosh, that was like, <laughs> was like, you know, having your own little community. And so it was wonderful because here in Chattanooga, I know there are Africans, there are Kenyans here, but it's not easier to like connect with them or know where they're at. Um, so it was wonderful for me to meet um, Kenyans who've lived here for a long time or recently just moved here um, in Atlanta, just all around. And so for me, that was really rewarding seeing that we are all here to showcase the beauty of our country and um, this wonderful culture that we do have, um, cooking with um, uh, cooking uh, Kenyan foods and, you know, just being here and working with the, um, with the exhibit and seeing how people are wowed with different things that they've never seen probably read in books, but being here and really talking to them. Actually, also another thing that really uh, was a reward to me that really added another layer of excitement was we as Kenyans, those who are part of the exhibit, we were here. And so being here, we were able to like really interact with those who came to see the exhibit and not, and kind of even make things clear than what they hear on, on the television or what they've read that are not the close to the truth, but they're not the truth. So yeah. What I would love for every kid that comes to see the exhibit is to learn and know that we have diverse cultures in the world and that every culture is different, it's unique in its own way. And that just to get to learn more about that culture and not the stories that people have been told, you know, that Africa is, you know, kids are starving and they're dying. And, you know, the kids were starving here in America as well, you know, those who were we, we all have poor people and that's how God has made 
the society to be so the rich can help the poor that we should be there for each other and so yeah in Kenya and in Africa we do have poverty but that's not just it there's a whole diverse element of beauty and, and richness in cultures and, and minerals and I mean everything so I would like that you take that other step and do your own research and read more about, like Nairobi, my capital city, it's very um, advanced technologically. It's very, I mean, if you go there, it's nothing, uh, uh, it's, it's not like what you read in books. So it's very, very advanced. And if you really want that old African, you know, um, experience, you have to go to their country. Um, to have that experience, because Nairobi is really, really developed, is very advanced in so many ways, technologically, you know, um, transportation. Yeah, and we do have internet. I've had kids ask me, do you have internet? Um, do you have clothes? I think we wear animal skins. Yes, we do have all that. Uh, we do have air airplanes. And so, yeah, it, it's wonderful. So just take that other step and do your own research and learn more and be open to difference because difference is unique and it's beautiful. Thanks for joining us. I'm so excited that you had time and allowed me to share a little bit of my culture and um, the beauty of its um, um, traditions. But I would also, um, it would be more excited to see you come join us at the museum and be part of this beautiful exhibit. Join us on Facebook or social media and um, support the museum in any, way, in, in any way that you can because this is a wonderful place for our kids to learn. And when we start young, when we start teaching our kids when they're younger, instilling these different differences of the society and cultures. I mean, they grow up being so well-rounded and knowledgeable about different cultures that the people from those cultures, even in their own culture, will really admire and appreciate them for being like the person that sees the world from different angles and not in one um, through one window. So I do appreciate that and thank you. And like we say in Kenya, asante, karibu, and kwaheri, which means goodbye.